This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Avinia. Welcome back to Navin Automation Labs. So uh, today I'm just going to cover a very simple topic uh, with respect to test ng. That what do you mean by verbose? Verbose in test file. Uh, most of the people they are not aware about it. We have seen this attribute at the suite level in test file, but we never noticed that. Okay, what is the purpose of this? Right. So, uh, so let's start. I'll do one thing quickly. I'll, I've already created one uh, Maven project having all the dependency of testng and Selenium. I have already added in this particular pom.xml file. So you just need to add your testng library. Okay, like this. Uh, okay, if it is not there, maybe I can add in the form of properties, go to Java build path. Make sure test ng library is available over here as well, right? Okay, or you can add a dependency directly over here. That's not, not an issue. So uh, I'll do one thing. I've already added Selenium jar files. So quickly we will write a simple test case in Selenium and then we will see how can we execute, how can we trigger the test case from test ng.xml and what do you mean by verbose? So I'll do one thing, right click and create a package. Let's say the package name is uh, com package. Under this com package, I'll create a class. Um, okay, let's see FB test, Facebook testing. Don't select the main method because this is a test class. Click on finish and uh, I'll do one thing. Quickly, I'll write one at the rate. I'll create my web driver instance like this. And at the rate, before method I'll write, I'll simply write public void. Uh, let's see, this is my setup method and uh, driver I'll initialize with Chrome driver okay and then simple import all these things then before initializing the Google Chrome I'll uh, configure the system set property also I'll pick it from some other maybe okay from this file I'll take it and uh, all these things we have already covered <coughs> so many times so driver will launch the <coughs> Google Chrome and driver.get method to launch the URL. <coughs> so I'll be using www.facebook.com. Right, and I'll do one thing. I'll create one at the rate. After method, which will be called as tear down method and simple, I'll quit my browser, right? And then import. For importing, you can use a shortcut, Control Shift O. And for Mac user, Command Shift O. <coughs> and I'll write some test cases, let's see, three, four test cases I'll write. Uh, I'm not, cons I don't bother about what kind of test cases because you can write any test case. Let's see, I'm writing FB title test. Okay, we are going to get the title of the page and then you simply use a driver dot get title, right? Driver dot get title in a string. Let's see, title is equal to this, and then I'll print the same title on the console. That uh, title of the page is title, and then I'll quickly write one assertion also: assert dot assert equals title. And what exactly you are expecting from Facebook page? So I'll quickly check. Let's see. I'll go to my. Uh, okay, one second. So I quickly check the Facebook.com page, and then okay, and then I'll check this is the title. So I'll go to View Page Source, and uh, we will pick the title. If something we can find it over here. Title. Yeah, here it is one second copy this and uh, this is what I'm expecting as a title right Facebook login or sign up title means this uh, the tab name the title name okay okay so this is the first test case I have uh, written so similarly let's see I'll write some other test cases as well or maybe similar test case I'll just copy paste so let's see three test cases I have written title test one title test two and title test three 
right and having the same code we are every time we are launch getting a title and verifying it so i'm not bothered about what kind of test cases i'm writing but i'm just bothered about that at least two two or three test cases are written over there now, now i'll do one thing i'll create one testng.xml file so either you can directly copy paste the testng.xml file in your project or you can do one thing right click on it go to testng and select this option convert to testng and uh, here you will see that okay automatically one format will be converted for you and then you can click on next and click on finish so you will see that one testng.xml file got created over here right and uh, sorry this two times it got added right and you open testng.xml file you will see that uh, Okay, this is a basic test ng the format of test ng.xml file and uh, this is the class name com.fb test we have given this entry at the class level at the test level and at the suite level name equal to suite so let's i'm giving some name fb test suite okay like this or name also you can give let's see name is equal to uh, Facebook title testing, something like this, right? And at the suite level, if you notice one thing, we always write one map, okay, one more attribute, verbose, okay, verbose equal to some time, and we have to give some number. So let's say I'm giving verbose equal to one. So this is the attribute I'm talking about in testng.xml file at the suite level, verbose equal to one. So what do you mean by verbose equal to one? So verbose equal to one means the kind of output you are getting on the console okay what kind of information you are getting it's a limited information or it's like uh, you are getting more information about your test execution so verbose the test execution console will come because of this verbose what kind of uh, uh, information we are providing how many test cases got passed failed what kind of details we are providing and it's a very detailed or it's a very short detail so let's see i'll execute this testng.xml file and let's see it is working or not so you will see some error is there okay some error 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 maybe something we are missing okay syntax error because it's not able to parse it okay i'll do one thing oh, name we have already given so i'll do one thing i'll just remove this name okay because it's showing duplicate names and run it again so now you see that yes my google chrome is getting launched it will be launched three times and every time it will check the title and it will close the browser so this is the second time and uh, now it will be the third time perfect and you will see the console output like this so i'll do one thing i'll copy this entire console output and paste it somewhere in my notepad file or maybe text edit file So let's open one notepad file a text edit and i'll just simple copy okay just let it be like this copy in this particular file and i'll do one thing i'll change my verbose value equal to two now you can give two now and then execute it again and uh, simple run as test ng suite and again you will see that three times browser will be launched second time and the third time and here you will see the console output all the test cases got passed but now this time we are getting some extra information because of verbose equal to two and i'll do one thing i'll just copy this thing and uh, i'll do one thing i'll create a new file and then paste it over here and then you start comparison okay so you can see okay and this you will see some extra lines we are getting. Can you see that what is a version of test and Jesus? So this is verbose equal to two, and this is verbose equal to one. We are getting some extra lines over there that okay, extra uh, logs by test ng we are getting. And then it's saying it's starting Chrome driver, and here it's saying it's starting Chrome driver over here. And if you go to the over here as well, it's showing a very detailed that okay, how many test cases got passed and everything, right? And uh, at the test level three test cases got passed zero failure and at the suite level also showing like this 
but here you see that okay it's showing only at the sweet level but not at the okay test level so and apart from that it's not showing in the console that how many test cases got passed or failed or something like this but here it is showing it properly right so this is because of verbose equal to 2 it means i need more information about my execution in the console output so that is like verbose equal to 2 so if you keep increasing maybe test ng will give you more extra okay output or more extra things in your okay in your console output screen so let's see this time verbose equal to 5 and uh, if you run it with verbose equal to 5 let's see what happens so let it execute it and then we'll see so second time and now the third time done and now if you see verbose equal to 5 i just copy this entire stuff and then uh, i'll create one more file and then paste it over here and here you will see some more output we are getting like this okay then extra line and uh, once the test cases are done it's saying that okay these are the invoked method i mean invoke means these are the executed methods were there that okay uh this is my class name then setup and then instance it got created and then it okay executed test case number one and tear down method like this so it is creating a pair can you see that setup test case tear down setup test case number two tear down like this so it will give you more information about it right so keep like this you can increase the verbose value up to 10 okay so verbose value you can give from verbose 1 to 10 on okay, what kind of uh, output do you want and everything so i'm just writing for you guys that okay you can give the verbose value from okay from 1 to 10 from 1 to 10 like this if you are giving 10 you will get maybe more information about it now i'll do one thing that uh, i'll make deliberately i'll make some test case fail so let's see for this particular test case i'm expecting one two three and uh, for this i'm writing four five six something like this so these two test cases will be failed and uh, i'm giving some priority also let's see priority is equal to one priority is equal to two and priority is equal to three right and then let's see what happens with uh, my verbose value as uh, let's see one and then i'll execute it once again so test case number priority number one test case priority number two and test case priority number three and uh, you can see the console output uh, very less information i'm getting from test ng okay yeah maybe it, yeah okay two two test cases got failed and something like this we are getting so maybe this time i think picking the last verbose only it's not picking maybe the verbose equal to one okay oh sorry i made it thread equal to one sorry about that i have to make it verbose equal to one sorry yeah so let's run it again sorry that was my mistake and let's run it again now with verbose equal to one okay so three times so getting executed and two test cases got failed yes and we are not getting about what kind of failures what kind of exceptions and all those things we are getting it's just saying that okay yeah two test cases got failed that's it so if you copy this entire console output and i'll go to my notepad once again and uh, i'll just copy over here in verbose number equal to one <clears throat> and then i execute with verbose equal to five okay like this and then again you execute it <clears throat> you will get the proper information about how many test cases got passed fail what is the reason about the failure test cases the complete uh, stack trace you will get okay over here and then if you see the console output yes perfectly see this is a very detailed information we are getting something like this that okay the title of the page is facebook these are the invoked method over here and giving the priority also like this priority equal to one priority equal to two priority equal to three right and then it's saying this particular test case got passed second test case got failed this is a complete expected error the assertion error we are getting over here same thing for test case number three and here also very detailed information i'll copy this and paste it over here let's see somewhere here so easily you can see guys this is verbose equal to one 
right? And this is verbose equal to five. So very detailed information we are getting. Maybe if you add verbose equal to the maximum value, you can give verbose equal to 10. Okay, verbose equal to 10, I'm giving. Right, so here I'm thread equal to count, thread count equal to five, it doesn't matter because we are not giving any parallel attribute. So it will not execute in parallel mode. So I'm not talking about thread count, but verbose equal to 10, if you are giving, let's see what happens. So run as test ng. Maybe some extra information they will add, or maybe the similar kind of information that the way we are getting in verbose equal to five. Let's see. So yeah, two test cases got failed and almost same information we are getting for verbose equal to 10 also. And this is the kind of information we were getting for uh, sorry just a minute yeah verbose equal to five also so you will see that if you keep increasing the value of verbose you will get more detailed console output from test ng about your test cases execution like this how many tests you got passed fail and everything so what is the best practice at least write verbose equal to four or five ways okay if you're writing only verbose equal to one it will not give you proper console output okay so always remember whenever you are defining this particular verbose Okay, make sure that okay, uh, your test output is coming properly. So you have to increase the verbose value. Okay, let's do one thing. I'll remove this verbose equal to 10 from here. I'm not giving this and let's see what happens. If you run it, you will see the console output without any verbose. It will execute. It will not like it will not execute or your test ng xml file is not correct without verbose but if you see the console output you are getting again it's like verbose is not defined so i'll give you just a very very basic information you can say verbose equal to one or like this or verbose is not defined like this so it's always a good practice to give the verbose value guys right so better to give i always give around four to five so that we will get a very detailed information about it right so that's all about it guys uh, about the verbose this was like somewhere we never covered actually and we have seen this verbose variable but very i mean attribute but we haven't discussed about it earlier so that's what i wanted to cover thanks for watching this video guys and keep learning and keep sharing your knowledge if you have any question you can write down in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel my channel name is naveen automation labs thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video